Hello, boys and girls. I hope you are all doing very well today. Froggy and I are ready to make some music. Are you ready to make music? All right, let's say hi to Froggy. Hippity hoppity Froggy, can you say your name for me? High five. Hippity hoppity Froggy, can you say your name for me? High five! Let's see, I wonder, can you clap your hands? Let me see you clap your hands. Good. Can you stomp your feet? Let's try that. Good. Can you pat your lap? Good job. Can you shake your hands? Awesome. All right, stand up with me. Let's get ready to shake it together. Listen to the song and do what the words say. Let's clap our hands and stomp our feet. Let's tap our hips. It's really neat. Let's tap our knees and feel the beat. Let's shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, shake it, shake it, and stop. Let's tap our cheeks and stamp our feet. Let's tap our bottom. It's really neat. Let's tap our chest and feel the beat. Let's shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, shake it, shake it, and stop. Let's tap and drum. Let's tap a drum. It's really neat. Let's tap a drum and feel the beat. And shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, shake it, shake it, and shake it, shake it, shake it, and stop. Let's go faster. Let's tap our hands and stamp our feet. Let's tap our hips. It's really neat. Let's tap our knees and feel the beat. Great job. All right, now let's sit down and get ready to hear a special story. We're going to read a book called Jake the Philharmonic Dog. This book is written by Karen Lefrac and illustrated by Marcine Baranski. I really like this story. It's about a little dog, a little puppy named Jake, and he goes to meet the orchestra. A fancy name for orchestra is Philharmonic. Can you say that? Philharmonic. Let's see who Jake meets in the orchestra. Philharmonic Dog, written by Karen Lefrac, illustrated by Marcine Baranski. Ruff, 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 ruff. Richie thought the small black dog sounded like he was singing. One look at the little fellow swishing his tail back and forth was enough for Richie to know this was the perfect dog for him. Jake's musical barking and rhythmic tail wagging reminded him of something else he loved his job as principal stagehand for the Philharmonic Orchestra. Jake and Richie did a lot of things together. Jake loved going to the park with Richie to play fetch. Tweet, tweet! As birds chirped in a nest high above, Jake threw his head back and answered, Woof, woof, woof! Jake and Richie also loved long car rides. Honk! Woof! Honk! Jake answered each honking car. His tail moved back and forth, back and forth, like windshield wipers. But there was one sound that Jake didn't like. Thunder. The first time the sky grew black and lightning flashed across it, followed by a boom. Jake's ears flattened. He went around and around in circles, his tail between his legs. Hey, pal, do you want to play fetch? Richie threw a rolled up newspaper but Jake didn't notice. Jake, want a biscuit boy? Richie rattled the box of special treats, 
but Jake just whimpered. <coughs> Richie didn't know what to do. Music usually helped him think, so he turned on the CD player. The sound of violins streamed through the air. Suddenly, Jake cocked his head and started thumping his tail back and forth, back and forth. There you go. That's better, isn't it? said Richie, gently scratching Jake behind his ears. Who knew you liked music so much? You know what? I'm going to take you to work with me tomorrow. And they shook on it, hand and paw. The next day, Richie and Jake drove to the grand concert hall. Jake lifted his ears as he entered the backstage area. So many new sounds, so many new scents. His eyes swiveled as a sea of legs weaved around him. Jake looked proudly at Richie as he set up chairs and music stands on the stage, putting sheets of music on each one. The musicians took the stage and they all found their seats. Suddenly, someone was kneeling by Jake, giving him the neck rub of his life. Jake, this is Glenn, said Richie. He's the concert master. He'll run the rehearsal until the conductor arrives. Tweet, tweet. Then bird song seemed to fill the air. Jake threw back his head. Woof, woof, woof. But just as quickly as it had begun, the bird melody stopped. The only sound now was Richie's laughter. Jake, Richie said, there aren't any birds here, boy. That's the flute players warming up. They're part of the woodwind section of the orchestra. All at once, Jake heard the loudest noise. Honk! Ruff! Honk! Ruff! The musicians all looked down. Jake, Richie patted him on the head. That's not a car horn. That's a French horn. See, the brass instruments are warming up now. Richie knew what was coming next, but before he could say a word, a drum roll started, quiet at first, then swelling louder and louder, followed by crash, boom. Mm -hmm. Jake whimpered. Everyone in the orchestra froze and watched wide-eyed as Jake turned quick circles off stage, his tail between his legs. Jake, Jake. It's not Thunder Boy, it's not. It's just the percussion section, Richie called out, but Jake didn't stop running in circles. Glenn, quick, have the string section play something, anything. Glenn signaled to the musicians and the strings began to play. As soon as he heard the soothing sounds of violins, Jake sat up straight and listened. His tail now wagged back and forth, back and forth. Good boy, Jake. The string section is your favorite, isn't it, pal? Richie said, scratching Jake behind the ears. As Glenn stepped to the podium, Richie said, listen to how all these instruments sound together when they play in the orchestra. Jake cocked his head as Glenn began to wave his arms at the orchestra. Why was he trying to shoo them away, Jake wondered. But then the most wonderful sound filled the air as the whole orchestra played together. Even Jake knew to keep quiet. Richie put a cushion in the wings so Jake could have his own special place to sit while the musicians played. As the rehearsal was going well, Richie said, come on, buddy. Let's go for a walk in the park before the concert. By the time they returned to the hall, Jake was kind of sleepy. I'll be back in a minute, boy. I just need to take care of a few things, Richie said. Jake wandered lazily across the empty stage waiting for Richie, sniffing a chair here, a music stand there. When he reached the podium, Jake saw something that perked him up a bit. A stick! Jake took it and wandered off the stage to find Richie so they could play fetch. But there was Jake's plump new cushion and he couldn't resist it. He yawned. Woo! The stick fell from his mouth and rolled behind the cushion. Then Jake curled up and took a nap. The sound of the orchestra warming up woke Jake a short time later. 
As he stretched, someone he'd never seen before walked onto the stage. The audience clapped and the musicians picked up their instruments. The man went to the podium and bowed to the audience. Everyone was quiet. But then the man began to search the podium looking for something. Oh no, said Richie, the baton. I know I put it out before we went to the park. What's happened to it? Jake watched as everyone began to fidget, the orchestra and the audience. He took the opportunity to meet the new person and try to start a game of fetch. Jake nosed behind the cushion, got his stick and trotted out onto the stage before Richie realized what was happening. Bravo, bravo! The audience burst into wild applause upon seeing Jake with the baton in his mouth. The conductor raised an eyebrow at his surprise guest. Then he turned, bowed to the little dog and took the baton from his mouth. The audience rose to their feet and cheered. Jake was so happy that his tail began to wag back and forth, back and forth. The conductor watched, then raised the baton and followed Jake's beat. He turned to the orchestra to start the music. The audience quickly took their seats. Jake scurried off to the wings to take his, and Jake's first official concert began. From then on, Jake came to work with Richie every day. After all, the principal stage paw had to bring the conductor his baton at the start of each performance. Did you like learning about the different instruments of the orchestra with Jake? Do you know that I used to play in an orchestra? I started learning an instrument called the flute when I was about 10 years old. And I played the flute in the band, in my school, and in a community orchestra. I even played it a little bit in college. The flute was one of the woodwind instruments. Would you like to hear what it sounds like? Let's see. about these instruments, we're going to hear an, a conductor introduce each section of the orchestra. As you see the different instruments being played, pretend to play them by moving your arms like the musicians do. My name is Grant and I am the conductor of the orchestra. Let's meet the woodwind section, going from the lowest instrument to the highest. The contrabassoon. The bassoons. The clarinets. The oboes. The flutes. The piccolo. The 
Together, the woodwind section sounds like this. That is the woodwind section. Let's meet the brass section, the tuba. The trombones. The trumpets. The horns. Together, the brass section sounds like this. That is the brass section. Let's meet the string section, going from the highest instrument to the lowest. The violins. The violas. The cellos. The double basses. And there's one more special instrument, the harp. Together, the string section sounds like this. That is the string section. Let's meet some of the instruments in the percussion section. The claves.
the maracas. The bongos. The drum kit. And that is the percussion section. Don't those instruments sound amazing? Which family of the orchestra did you like the sound of the best? Did you like the percussion? Did you like the woodwinds? Did you like the brass? Or did you like the strings? Show me by moving your hands which one you liked the best. I like them all. They're so fun to listen to. I really love listening to the instruments of the orchestra. If you like it too, you can do a little bit of research on your own. You could find some more videos on YouTube. There's even some games we can play about the instruments of the orchestra. And I'll link them to this lesson in the comments so you have a chance to, int to introduce yourself to the orchestra a little bit more. But for now, let's say goodbye. Are you ready? Music time is over. We're going back to class. Goodbye, goodbye. I'll see you again next time. Remember, I like you. I miss you. And I can't wait to see you again. Bye.